Well, hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here. Um, you're joining me in the work space today for just a minute, um, just a super short video. Just wanted to let you guys know I'm really excited for two reasons today. Uh, number one, I have a pasta recipe that is going to go live on Saturday morning, uh, carnivore pasta noodles, and this one, it's really, really good, guys. I've had some, some keto pastas and some carnivore pastas and different kinds of things in the past, and they're not bad. Um, you know, they certainly get the job done, but I've just never quite enjoyed the specific texture that I get from those kinds of those kinds of recipes it just it just doesn't quite do what I want it to do um, so I've worked really hard on this one and put a lot of thought into how we make this work and I think this is the best one I've had so far um, I'm sure it can still be improved and there will be things we can as a community work and tweak it and figure out the techniques that make it even better and all of that but I made this and my wife, who absolutely does not like any of those like weird substitute type products, especially if they have like an egg substitute thing. Like if you do, if you do like the egg wraps and you cut them into pasta shapes, she won't eat those. <laughs> um, they just, they just don't, they just don't do it. This one, I made her fettuccine Alfredo out of it. Uh, I guess this is about a week ago and she ate all of it. She absolutely loved it, and she was super excited about it because she can have fettuccine Alfredo again. So um, I think this is really, really good, and I'm really excited to show you guys how I do it. Now, there is dairy in this. I will tell you that up front, but because I've had a few people asking me about this because I know a lot of my recipes so far have included dairy, I am going to be working on a dairy-free version of this as well. It's going to take a little longer because getting the texture that I'm getting from this and getting the right flavor profile and the timing and all those kinds of things that's much harder without the dairy. The dairy that is in this ax is a buffer, especially with heat and with the proteins setting up and the various things that this does. So it is going to take a little bit more experimentation to kind of get there. Um, but I am working on a dairy-free version. For those of you who don't do dairy, I hear you and I see you and I know you're there and I have not forgotten you, I promise. Um, I will be working on dairy-free recipes, specifically a dairy-free version of this for you and, uh, and, and other recipes as well. So we're kind of getting some of the basics down here for you guys that I've been working on and then I can start to tweak those things and try to come up with dairy-free versions for those of you that uh, are maybe not necessarily able to handle dairy or maybe even if you do want to have a special meal like this, you don't want to go heavy on the dairy in the process or, you know, whatever. So I'm super excited about the pasta. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how to make the noodles and then I'm going to do carnivarbonara which if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is a carnivore carbonara recipe. Carbonara is a Roman pasta dish made with egg yolks and um, Pecorino Romano cheese. And uh, they use guanciale, which is like a, a, a pork jowl style kind of bacon, um, like a cured pork jowl. Uh, I can't get guanciale here without massive uh, expense to order it online. Um, so I'm probably going to use just regular bacon. I'm going to see if I can find some like pork jowl bacon that's, that's around here. Um, but if I can't, I'll just use regular bacon. So any kind of like a bacon product, you know, pork belly, regular bacon, pork jowl. If you can get guanciale wherever you are, if you're in a country where, uh, guanciale is easy to get, oh, <laughs> I'm so jealous. Um, but so it's basically egg yolks and guanciale and pecorino romano cheese I'm actually going to use a little bit of Grana Padano as well in this, and um, I'll explain why when when I do the, the actual pasta video, but I'm going to do, do two versions of this for you. I'm going to do kind of the, the standard, this is the way mom would make uh, carbonara if you, if you are Italian, Roman specifically, um, and mom is making carbonara at home, I'm gonna make kind of just the traditional version of carbonara. I'm also going to do, this is something I'm kind of testing out, I wanna see what you guys think about this. I'm also gonna do a 
much more chefy version. So I'm gonna take my pasta and split it in two and I'm gonna do one normal version and then, which is probably what a lot of you will be able to like on a weeknight just, you know, throw it together, pull noodles out and, and do this, you know, provided that you have these noodles already done. And then I'm gonna do the chef version where if you wanna challenge yourself in the kitchen and you wanna really push the bounds of a combination of flavors and techniques and just expand what you can do culinarily in the kitchen just because you get enjoyment out of doing that and and that's that's something you like um i want to have a version for you to do that as well uh so i'm really excited about this i'm going to show you both versions and i'd love to see what you guys think about that so i'm really excited for that um I have a bunch of other stuff coming as well, and uh, just stay tuned into the channel, watch the community tab there, I'll be putting up some posts and asking some questions and getting a feel for what I can do to, to make this work for you guys as, as much as possible. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about is I'm hoping as you're watching this that the camera quality and hopefully the audio quality is improved. Um, I have some new gear and I think this is gonna make a big difference for filming. You can probably see both of my hands are free here. Um, so when I'm doing these sort of in the car, uh, catching up vlog type things or, or dropping in you know, life update kind of videos and that kind of stuff, um, I'm hoping these will be a little bit better for you guys. And uh, my recipe videos for sure, I think when I can you know, set everything up and have control over lighting and camera angles and everything. Um, I'm practicing all of this and, and learning. It's, it's a, it's a big learning curve. It's, you know, there's a lot more to, to doing YouTube than just setting up a camera and pressing record and then doing it. Like it's, it's, there's a lot to understand about visually what's good and what's helpful and, and all of this kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm practicing, I'm listening to what you guys are telling me, the feedback you're giving me, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make this better and better for you. Um, you know, and I tell you guys all the time, if you, uh, like what I do and you want to support my channel, that I appreciate that because I'm going to put all of that back into the channel and, um, I'm, I'm making good on my word on that. I am taking the things that are coming in from you guys, from the support. Um, you know, I've got the, the Patreon group that I've linked below. I've got that, uh, I've got, that's growing. There are people that are jumping in there and I'm doing behind the scenes content and extra posts and I'm asking them you know, questions to be able to influence kind of where things go and all that kind of stuff. That's super cool. If you want to sign up, that's down below. Um, I added the $1 option. So if you're like, you know, a dollar doesn't really make that big of a difference in my life, but you know, it makes a huge difference in my life and gives me the chance to do this for you guys. That option's there. The shop is down below. If you want to get a t-shirt or cups or apron or, you know, whatever. Um, and then I've had people doing things like super stickers and super thanks and like sending me that kind of stuff to support the channel. Um, guys, that that just, it touches my heart so much that you like what I'm doing so much that you want to help me do it because, you know, it is, unfortunately, um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not made of money and have to, you know, work and, and do the adult things to keep the bills paid and stuff. But when you guys do that, it just helps soften uh, the expense of the ingredients and the gear and like, I'm trying to upgrade my kitchen gear and I'm trying to, you know, like the camera and audio situation now that we have a better option for, like, I'm trying to upgrade stuff like that for you guys. Um, so that the better quality this is and the more you can enjoy it, then, you know, we can continue moving forward. And when you guys do nice stuff like that, it, it just helps so, so much. And so I'm, I am uh, a man of my word. And so I'm taking the money that has been invested from, you know, people watching my videos and people signing up on Patreon and the super thanks and, you know, these kinds of things. And I'm putting it back into this for you guys, because that's what this is all about is, is you guys having access to things that I already have access to, to be able to do kind of a keto and carnivore kind of thing and make some cool recipes and have fun and, you know, still be able to enjoy food, but do it in a healthy way where it's not about a carb addiction and junk but it's about just getting to enjoy the, the cool things we can do with the ingredients that we know are good for us. So anyway, so I hope that this is picture wise and audio wise is better for you guys. I'm, I'm quite sure it will be, but, um, you know, but I, I just hope that you guys are enjoying that, um, upgrade and I just really appreciate the fact that you guys are here 
and that you are letting me do this for you and helping me do this for you. Um, on the support side of things, a couple of things I'm doing, I am going to do, I'm going to open up, I'm, I'm working on creating it, but I am going to open up YouTube channel memberships. Um, and basically I'm going to do some extra videos, like some, some basic recipe type videos, but some things that maybe, um, you're like, oh man, that's a great recipe that I can just kind of take this one ingredient and throw it together super quick. And maybe something that is not worthy of <clears throat> a 25 minute recipe video where I'm explaining the ingredients and the techniques in and out and, you know, whatever, and maybe not the complicated, like, here's how we take eggs and make them taste like, you know, brioche buns or, you know, whatever. But some, some simpler things of like, hey, if you take chicken and you season it like this and this and you do this to it, it makes this, you know, more straightforward things, but some things that maybe might be super helpful to people. Um, I'm just going to open up some channel membership stuff there because um, something that I've learned from this community, from people like Dr. Barry, um, this whole support system that we have is what this is all about, right? Like we cannot do these kinds of things in the world we live in unless we have a support system to do this. You have to, as Dr. Barry says, you have to find your tribe, right? And, and that's such a brilliant way to put that going back to kind of, you know, the way people would have been long ago and, um, you know, the different, the different groups and everything kind of supporting each other and stuff. And I think, that's a brilliant way of understanding why this community is so important and understanding why when you try to do this on your own, when you're on an island, you, you tend to slip up and fail at it. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea how I would ever be able to do this if I didn't have the support of all of you, um, especially the support of my wife and my parents and the people in my life that are like encouraging me and like, you can do this. You're doing great. Look how skinny you're getting, which I don't know if I'm getting skinny, but I am losing a lot of weight and they encourage me and you know, they lift me up. And when I release a YouTube video and you guys blow it up and everything like they celebrate with me. Right. So, so the groups of people that support us, that matters so, so much. So, so I've been thinking about this and, you know, I've got my Patreon for people that want like some of the behind the scenes content or, you know, want to support the channel on like a monthly basis that way. But if you're not really a Patreon person and uh, don't necessarily want to go there and you still want to support the channel, but you're more like I hang out on YouTube all the time and that's kind of where I do my thing. I want to open up channel memberships for you guys as well and put, you know, behind the scenes content or, or other kinds of things so you can kind of pick and choose where you would like to go for that sort of stuff. And then there will probably be some difference between the, you know, the Patreon group and the YouTube memberships. Um, the YouTube memberships will be in very YouTube style and the, you know, the Patreon is more, um, me talking with people, me interacting with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis or, or at least in a smaller group where I can, you know, give you ideas and, and give you words of encouragement and pictures of things I'm doing and, posting about stuff, asking questions, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to open up the channel memberships here soon. Uh, if you just love the stuff that I'm doing and you just want to figure out a, a way to help support it so that I can put more time into it, that will be an option there. All of this stuff is just options, guys. I'm not, I'm not doing this because I'm trying to, you know, take a bunch of money from people or anything. Um, it's just purely a thing. If you want to help me, have more time and focus to be able to develop this kind of stuff for you guys. And you just want to be able to, you know, give into that just a little bit. Um, I just want there to be options for you to do so. Um, so I'm going to have the YouTube channel memberships and I'm thinking I'm also going to create, uh, I've considered this creating a mighty network with sort of like the, like the, the private community Dr. Barry has, I'm thinking about creating a network that is specifically about these recipes that I'm doing or people who want to look at like keto, ketovore and carnivore from the perspective of a foodie. Um, I just kind of thought maybe that would be a, a cool thing. So I'm considering that if you guys like that idea, if you like, yeah, I'd love to have a social network where we can just go and, you know, talk foodie type stuff in the keto, ketovore and carnivore world. Like, let me know, drop that in the comments below. Um, but all of that to say, whoo, my hair is messy today. <laughs> That's why I'm always wearing a hat because I never want to take the time to fix my hair because I have a lot of it. 
Um, so all of that to say, I'm going to do all of these things. You guys can join in. And, you know, Dr. Barry has his tribe, which I am a member of, and it is, it is a blast and a pleasure to be in there and just be able to connect with people. But I thought about this and I was like, you know, what, what do I call all of you who are here supporting me? Um, <clears throat> you know, not, not just by watching the videos, but for those of you that want to like, you know, put, put a dollar or something in and contribute to kind of the overall community benefit here that we're trying to build and what I'm doing, like, what do I call you guys? And I was thinking about this and I was, I was sitting there with my guitar and I was playing a little bit and I was thinking about what do I call everybody? And suddenly I realized I was sitting there with a guitar and I realized you guys are the band. I'm, I'm sort of like the band leader here and you guys are the band and we're learning to play together in harmony to perform, to, you know, to put on our show, to do our things. Like it is, it is right there in front of me, guys. I'm a professional musician. I'm a band leader. I'm a lead guitar player. I'm a singer. I'm a guitar artist. I, I play a number of other instruments. Like it is all written in exactly to what I do. And this is Chris cooking Nashville. And I was like, well, that's just kind of silly. That just kind of that whole, that whole thing just sort of wrote itself. So, uh, anyway, so if you guys hear me talking about in the future, the band, that's you guys. If you have, um, you know, joined the channel on YouTube when that's available, if you are on my Patreon, if you have sent me a super sticker, um, or a super thanks or any of those kinds of things, if you do that, when I start doing live streams and you want to, you know, send, um, send the super thanks type stuff, you guys, you're in the band and I, I can tell you as a professional musician, when you're on the road and you're on like a tour bus or you're in a lot of times a van until you, you know, get more successful, the band does everything together and they are a family because on the road, that is all you have. That is all you can do is rely on the brothers and sisters that are in your band. So you guys are my brothers and my sisters and you guys supporting this channel, you are in the band. And I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to know that there are people out there who want to get on board with me doing this so that together we can figure out how to do this. Um, and the more members we have in the band, the less we all have to work to, to, you know, try to put on a good show because there's other people supporting you. So it's, you know, it's, it just makes things easier for all of us, myself included. The more of you that join in on things and and just become part of this, we can put more and more time into it and more and more effort, and I can create more content and have more focus to do that. Um, and I just, I love being able to do that. I love being the band leader here and getting to kind of put some stuff out there and love the fact that you guys are here and that you joined the band. So... Anyway, I just, I thought that was super cool. I thought that would be a fun thing. And we are, we are a community, so we may as well have a name. So thank you guys to uh, all of you who are in the band. I appreciate you and we will continue rehearsals soon. So um, y'all stick around. You probably will not hear anything from me tomorrow, but Saturday, you're going to see that pasta video go live. I'm literally filming it tonight when I go home from work and I start making dinner. I'm filming that video tonight, so it will be done. I will then be probably editing all day tomorrow, and then on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, that will be going live on YouTube. So um, for a few of you who have asked for that recipe, you're going to need some eggs, you're going to need egg white powder, you're going to need cream cheese, you're going to need uh, butter, you're going to need bacon, guanciale, some kind of you know fatty pork cut that you can fry up in a pan and get the, uh, the fat that cooks out of it as well. Um, Pecorino Romano cheese. Uh, you can use Parmesan if you don't have Pecorino, but Pecorino I think is really nice. Uh, if you want to do the chefy version with me, get some Grana Padano as well. And black pepper. If, if you do such things, black pepper is optional. You don't have to have that. Um, a little squirt of lemon juice will also be optional, but you don't have to have that. Um, egg white powder gelatin. That should be it. That should be all of the crazy things 
you know, salt, typical, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, there's also a little bit of optional heavy cream in it. It makes it nicer with heavy cream, but you don't necessarily have to have it, but it's also, it's like a tablespoon. It's not, it's not a lot. So, um, anyway, that's kind of your ingredient list. If you guys want to grab that and have it ready to go and make pasta on Saturday so you can have, you know, carnivore pasta Saturday night, there's, there's your ingredients. So, um, guys, thank you all so much for just giving me an opportunity to share with you, for giving me a platform from which I can talk to you guys and be friends and family with you and share the things that help me and make me feel good in my life and just to be able to give that gift to other people. Thank you for that opportunity because it's all because of you guys I get to do this, so... Uh, anyway, I've got really cool stuff coming. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you guys for watching. Rock on to those of you in the band. And uh, just thank you all so much. I love you guys. Eat your meat. Love your life. This is Chris Cook in Nashville. I'll see you guys in the kitchen on Saturday for Carnivore Pasta.